최근 이스라엘에서는 아주 놀라운 일들이 일어나고 있습니다. 이스라엘의 정통 유대인들과 또 전세계의 기독교인들 사이에 서로를 좀 이해하고 그런 이해를 바탕으로 뭔가 서로 협력할 수 있는 방법이 있지 않을까 이런 방법을 찾고 또 시도하는 그런 일들이 일어나고 있는데요. 제가 오늘 그 일들을 시도하고 있는 또 하나의 조직을 찾아왔습니다. 바로 루트소스라고 하는 단체의 창립자이십니다. 기도원 아리엘 씨를 만나기 위해서 헤브론에서 남쪽으로 한 10여 킬로미터 좀더 떨어진 곳에 말레 헤르브라고 하는 마을로 제가 찾아왔습니다. 고맙습니다. 이렇게 초청해 주셨어요. 네. 샬롬. 샬롬. 제가 조금 전에 기도원 아리엘 우리 대표님에 대해서 소개를 했지만 그거보다도 조금 더 자세하게 본인이 어떤 일들을 하고 있는지 좀 소개를 해 주시죠. With pleasure, my name is Gideon Ariel. I was born in New York. I moved to Israel when I was about 14. And I've lived in Jerusalem and uh, around Jerusalem. Uh, my, I got married about 20 years ago. And uh, together with our family, we moved about five years ago to this beautiful uh, small community called Malay Hever, just outside of the holy city of Hebron in the Judean desert. Uh, I'm also the founder of RootSource, which is an online platform for Christians and Jews to learn about their shared heritage online from all over the world. And I myself am an Orthodox Jew. Uh, I studied in a yeshiva, which is an advanced Orthodox Jewish uh, school for uh, Talmud and for Bible. Uh, but about 10-15 years ago, I recognized that God is doing something in the world And he wants Jews and Christians to respectfully work together on things that they share in common. And that's what I dedicate my life to ever since. 제가 잘못 알고 있는 건지는 잘 모르겠지만 우리 기독교인들은 유대인들을 향해서 다가가고 우리 서로 이렇게 어, 이해하고 협력하자 이런 시도를 많이 하고는 있는데 이 정통 유대인들은 다른 종교를 갖고 있는 사람들에게 특히 이방인들에 대해서 좀 배척하고 담을 쌓고 손을 내밀지 않고 이런 걸로 알고 있거든요. 어떻습니까? 제 말이 제 생각이 맞습니까? This is something pretty new in world history that uh, people are recognizing that we're all humans and we should all try to work together. Unfortunately, the history of Christians and Jews in general Uh, over the past almost 2,000 years has been very difficult. Uh, not too many Christians today who love Israel know that uh, the history of Christians' behavior towards Jews has been basically horrific. The, when, uh, for example, the, one of the most famous words in this case is the Crusades, that for Christians sounds great. Wow, we are bringing Christianity back to the Holy Land. But historically, for the Jews, it was horrific because the Crusaders killed Jews all the way to the Holy Land. And, uh, uh, and the Holocaust was perpetrated, perpetrated by the Nazis and their assistants. But for uh, Jews, many Jews recognized that it was Christian Nazis who were doing this. They weren't Muslims. They weren't Buddhists. They were followers of Jesus. So there's a lot for Christians to apologize and to repent for. But from the Jewish perspective, this is something very new, that Jews are reaching out in friendship to Christians because they recognize that not only have times changed, the Jews are coming back from their exile, from the diaspora, to the holy land that God has promised us, Uh, against all odds, nobody would ever believe that this would happen, but it's happening, and Jews have reestablished a state in this land, a country, a nation, and this nation is thriving. And so many of the Jews are, be, the Israeli Jews and Jews in general, are becoming more and more confident in themselves, in their religion, and they are willing to cooperate, I say we are willing, to explore how we can cooperate with Christians um, all over the world, including Korea. 그러면 유대인은 유대인대로 그냥 
본인들의 종교를 믿고 또 기독교인은 기독교인대로 자기의 신앙을 지키면 살면 될것 같은데 굳이 유대인들과 기독교인이 서로를 이해하고 협력해야 할 필요성이 있을까요? The Christians and the Jews have been living separately for 2,000 years. But uh, God writes in the Bible that he wants all people, all mankind, to know him. And uh, you, you can't know the same thing really without having a relationship with other people. God doesn't want to have two different earths, two different worlds, or two million or six billion different worlds. He created one world with one mankind, and he wants everybody to play nice, just like our parents want us to do. And so this is a, uh, an amazing challenge for us because we're so used to doing things differently. We're so used to being xenophobic, to worrying about people who are different than us, to saying that we're better than them or they're, they're enemies of ours. God is coming towards a time, a redemptive time, when there will be peace on earth and goodwill towards men. I know that that's a quote from a, a Christian psalm, but I can accept that too. And I think that that is what God wants from the Jewish people to promote those values. And I am grateful to the Christian people for promoting those values, which was our mandate, the Jewish people's mandate, to spread the knowledge of God all over the world but we were a little bit busy during our exile uh, trying to survive. <laughs> Now, times are coming when God is bringing all these people to back together again, both geographically, with uh, the ability to fly in a plane within six hours where you couldn't get within six months a mere hundred years ago, and also through the internet, you're able to get in touch with people that you didn't even know existed. Until then, so I think that all of these new experiences, all of these new contraptions that we have, all these new inventions, are from God, helping Him to help us to bring about His will on earth. 우리 기도원 아리엘 대표님께서 이스라엘 오신 지가 한 40년 됐다 그랬는데 그러면은 대표님께서 보시기에는 40년 전에 이스라엘의 유대인들이 기독교를 보는 거하고 또 현재 40년이 지난 지금 이스라엘의 유대인들이 기독교와 기독교인들을 보는 시각이 좀 많이 변했다라고 느껴지십니까? I am today one of the leaders on the front line of relationships of grassroots relationships between Jews and Christians. When I first came about a pro-Israel Christian because there are plenty of anti-Semitic Christians that I don't have to have a relationship with. But the pro-Israel Christians, it's something that only started about 30, 40 years ago. Before that, there were a few here, a few there. But an organization, uh, a, a group, this is something relatively new. And today, more and more Christians like this are coming to Israel. Again, because of the internet, they are getting more exposure to Israel and to the Jewish people. Because of social media, they are able to interact. So from the Christian's perspective, and it's a God thing, is something that is expanding tremendously. We just, uh, this past week, um, had the honor and the great uh, joy of having our three millionth tourist in Israel this year. And so uh, we have another month, so this is already a, a, an annual a record for Israel tourists. Most of these tourists are Christians who wouldn't have come un unless they said there's something special going on in the land of Israel with the people of Israel thanks to the God of Israel. And that brings them to have a relationship with the Jewish people. It is something only that God can do. 그런데 기도 나일 대표님께서는 그냥 혼자 유대인으로서 유대교만 잘 믿으면 됐지 왜 굳이 기독교인과 이렇게 서로 이해하고 협력할 수 있는 루트 소스라는 단체를 만드실 생각을 했습니까? I really can only say it's from God because I grew up like you said a very ordinary Jew. Um, I grew up in a uh, Jewish community with Jewish friends and a Jewish uh, youth movement. I moved to the Jewish day Jewish 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 Jewish. But uh, I one day came upon 
the offices in Jerusalem of the International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem, and I saw that this was a different kind of Christian. And it just, it just appeal, appealed to me to try to reach out my, friend, my hand in friendship to somebody who is giving out their hand to me. And the relationships that I have with the leaders of the ICEJ, with Bridges for Peace, Christian Friends of Israel, more and more Christian organizations that are reaching out sincerely to Jews in order to create friendships, that's just the kind of person that I am. I like to be friends with people who want to be friends with me. And uh, more and more Christian Jews in Israel that I'm seeing are seeing, what do you know? This is something that we can do. And of course, more and more Christians as well. So it's coming to a head somehow. We don't know what it's going to be, but until then, enjoy the ride. Our Gideon 대표님께서 하시는 루트 소스라는 조직에서 어떻게 이스라엘의 유대인과 또 기독교인들 간의 서로 이해와 협력 관계를 하시기 위해서 구체적으로 어떤 일들을 지금 구상하고 계시는 겁니까? We started a few years ago with Root Source because whenever uh, I would meet a Christian group who would come to Israel and would be willing to have me talk to them, I would talk about my life, about my relationship with God, my knowledge of the Bible, things that I know in, uh, in Jewish scripture. And people were very excited to hear me. They would invite me back until I said, why don't I just do this on the internet? So I shared this idea with a group and they were very, very excited to hear that this was going to happen. And one of the people in that group uh, walked up to me and said, I want to be your first student. And he ultimately became my business partner. His name is Bob O'Dell. He's a Christian from Texas, the United States. And uh, we've been working together for these two or three or four years. And uh, what we've done is created a platform with about, right now, a dozen Jewish teachers who are teaching what they like to teach to Christians who want to learn from them these topics. And uh, for many of these teachers, it's the first time that they are teaching Christians. And what, what we do is we record them uh, with videos. And the, uh, our students sign up and can interact with our teachers because the most important thing for us is relationship. It's important that our teachers and our students have a teacher-student relationship because that is the most important thing in Jewish tradition. And uh, thank God we have a free newsletter that goes out every week with uh, over 20, 30,000 people subscribed. And we've had hundreds of people, we've got over 400 people in the, the paying for our content uh, and being uh, having uh, an ability to, to watch over four, five, seven hundred videos about Israel, uh, Judaism, the Torah, the Bible, Moses, Jewish history, all different kinds of topics. And uh, thank God, and we want to have more and more teachers and students. Rootsource 웹사이트에서 하고 있는 유대인들을 이해하기 위한 좋은 강의 내용 구체적으로 좀 어떤 내용들을 강의하고 있습니까? Let's see. Uh, I teach uh, two uh, courses. One is uh, pray like a Jew talking about uh, prayer in Judaism and the specific prayers that Jews pray every single day, and also Moses' profile of a leader. Uh, other uh, other uh, popular courses that we give are Jewish history, uh, the land of Israel, uh, introduction to the Hebrew language, um, ethics of the fathers, which is a very important uh, text about ethics um, women in the Bible, and let's see who else we got over there, Proverbs, and uh, uh, understanding Islam, the history of Islam and Judaism and Christianity, uh, and anything else that any uh, of my students reach out to me and say, hey, we'd like to learn this, then we're going to fit it in for them. 그럼 그 인터넷 강의를 들은 기독교인들의, 크리스찬들의 반응은 좀 어떻습니까? Every week we get a lot of comments saying, this is the greatest thing, I've never heard of this kind of stuff. And it's helping me to have a greater relationship with Jesus. Because I recognize what Jesus as a Jew lived and thought. And it's 
And it's a miracle that these same ideas, these same thoughts and experiences that Jesus had over 2,000 years ago, the Jews of today are still following. It's, it, it really is amazing. And uh, not, it's not for everybody. Uh, from time to time, I get uh, an email or a comment on Facebook that's saying, you're Jewish, uh, there's a problem with that, we, we got to only learn from Christians, and we only have to... Okay, so it's not for them yet. Until then, there are thousands and millions of Christians who are recognizing this new day in Jewish-Christian relations and, in fact, in their own Christian uh, journey. And it's, it's an honor for me to help somebody to become stronger in their own faith. 기독교인들은 루트 소스에서 강의하는 그 내용을 듣고 뭐 이스라엘과 유대인들에 대해서 이해하고 점점 더 마음이 열려가는 거참 바람직하고 좋은 일이긴 하지만 기도원 대표님께서 이 일을 하겠다라고 했을 때 주변에 있던 다른 정통 유대인들 반응이 어땠었습니까? 그리고 다른 강사분들 쉽게 이렇게 강의를 같이 하자 이런 얘기를 하진 않았을 것 같아요. You're very astute. <laughs> I, I uh, for a long time, did not share this with uh, my Jewish friends. And even today, when people, uh, some people ask me, what do you do? I say, uh, I work on the internet. And that's usually enough for them, and they don't go further than that. Because, you know, you have to uh, reach out to people who will respond positively and uh, shy away from things that will... Uh, cause pain and disagreement. That's what I think. So I'll, uh, as far as my teachers, I asked people who I thought would respond positively. All of them are friends of mine. And all of the ones that are working, some I had to convince a little bit more, but some said, wow, I've been waiting to do this. Because they also realize that the Torah, God's word, is not just for God's people, the Jewish people. It is for all people, and if they can have some part in this, they really want to do that. And I'm looking forward to expanding from the dozen or so teachers that we have now to a uh, Jewish teaching Torah YouTube, if you will, where all teachers, Jewish teachers who are interested in having their content uh, hosted on root source so that Christians can access it, I'm looking forward to it being a tremendously exciting opportunity for all of these Jewish teachers who will come around to saying God just wants his children to play nice together. 기도나 아릴 대표를 저희가 이제 만나게 된 것이 먼저 저희한테 연락을 주셨어요. 그 기도원 대표께서도 이스라엘에서 우리 브레드 TV 이 홈페이지를 많이 보시는 것 같아요. 우리 브레드 TV 홈페이지 보시니까 프로그램들 우리 유대인으로서 어떻습니까 느낌이? Well, first of all, uh, professionally, it's excellent. I'm very uh, impressed by the, the website and the videos. Um, but the very idea of somebody to have a Jewish star as their logo from Korea, we, uh, in American, it's called mind-blowing. <laughs> it's just, I, I don't know where it came from. And really, I was thinking, I would like to ask, I would like to interview you and to hear more about how you came to your relationship with the Jewish people and what you think of what I've said, because you asked a lot of questions and I've given answers, but I'd like to hear your responses to that. I uh, mentioned before the ICEJ, the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem, every year they have uh, a, uh, a feast, the Feast of Tabernacles, where people come from the 70 nations of the world. And people who, astoundingly, they barely seem to have enough money to, to, to eat, yet they save up penny to penny, and they take a trip to Israel, their only uh, trip in, in, in their lives, they're on a plane even, because they say, this is what God has told us to do. And so there's that, that um, connection with the Jewish people, with the God of Israel, and there's a the connection with Israel. Thankfully, uh, Israel has developed to be an exciting, wondrous place to visit. For you, you've been here over 60 times. You can tell your friends. I'm sure that you, you that people who watch you want to come to Israel, and they're right because it's a great place to be. 
So uh, if, if, if it's happening in Korea, and it might be happening in Japan, and might be happening in Timbuktu, I'm from New York, so I only know New York. I don't know any place else. <laughs> but uh, this is something that is really happening all over the world. And it seems to me that Brad TV is a pioneer in this movement. And so I have to, I really have to uh, congratulate you and thank you and bless you from God that you have taken this upon yourself, upon your heart, to be your, your, uh, your mission. So, Brad TV it's nice to know you, and I hope that you will be in touch. I uh, hope that we, Brad TV and Root Source, which is an internet uh, platform, the world's first internet platform for Orthodox Jews to teach Christians about their Jewish roots and about the, the Bible from a Jewish perspective, I hope that we will be able to continue cooperating. And until that happens, I hope that anybody is there out there in TV land will do it personally. Please contact me through the, uh, through the email or through my website, root-source.com. I have Google Translate, so I'll be able to respond to you if you write in Korean. And uh, I hope that we'll be able to meet in Jerusalem. And uh, to you, my good friend Brad, I want to shake your hand. And I'm, I'm just emotional with, the, with God's prophecies coming true here in the Holy Land of Israel where people are coming from all over the world to be in his land and to help fulfill God's dream of all of the people of the world knowing him and coming to the land of Israel where they can most connect through the Holy Land, through the Holy People, to the Holy One, blessed be He. God bless you. 오늘 루트 소스 이 사역에 대해서 자세하게 또 설명해 주시고 유대인과 기독교인들 간에 좋은 다리 역할을 하고 계시는 그 깊은 이야기들을 나눠주셔서 고맙습니다. 감사합니다. Thank you very much. Thank you.